everybody. It's Friday. It's time for Facebook Live. Facebook Friday as I call it. I am really excited about today's projects. I'm not going to lie. That butterfly thinlet is adorable. It's very cute and it's fun to play with. All right, I'm going to give you guys a few minutes to jump on. I am trying a different Wi-Fi today, so I want to see if it works any better. So as you guys jump on, I'm going to give you a few minutes and let me know if it's glitchy or in and out um, because I can always stop, disconnect, and start again. Um, so let me know what you guys see, if it's looking good, if it's fuzzy or, you know, breaking up. Hello, guys. Now I can see you. Um, let's see. I hasn't come up on my iPad yet, but I can see Darcy and Nicole and Kimberly. Thank you for joining me. So what do you guys think? How's the Wi-Fi? Does it seem clear? Trying a new one today. We got new Wi-Fi, you know, they come out and they just tell you it's gonna be super amazing and we haven't noticed much yet. Um, we have several choices on our box that we can choose from, so I'm trying something different. Hello, 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 ladies. All right, so, Nobody's telling me that I'm frozen, so I'm gonna go with it. Debbie says good and clear. All right, that's all we can hope for, right? All right, so I am gonna get started pretty quickly because I've got lots to tell you guys, and I don't even know where to start. Um, next week, next Friday, is the second release of Celebration. And it looks like this. We have a little brochure, and um, we have three new items. Um, you'll be able to, you can't, can't get these until next Friday, but I'm just giving you a heads up so that you won't be like, why didn't you tell me? Um, next week, my focus is gonna be the three new projects. They're so awesome. Um, I don't think I can share this PDF online yet, but you'll be able to see it on Friday. But I can show you a few of the things. One of them is a stamp set that is designed for the Stamparatus. And guess what? I've already made samples for each of these. So let me, and I'm not going to show you all of them because they're for next week. And I want you to be surprised. Okay, but I'm just going to show you three different things that I've created with the All Adorned stamp set. All right, little sneak peek. Got to stay tuned. I have to say these are my favorite. <laughs> Uh, this was the one I saved to the last because I thought it was going to be kind of tricky and I love it. Thank you for sharing the video, you guys. Yes, you'll be entered into a drawing, of course, um, for sharing the video. Uh, one of the other items in the new celebration um, second release is this embossing folder. Can't remember the name, but it's really nice. It's one of our, oh, you know, the thick ones that makes a really deep impression. And so here are three sneak peeks of cards that I've made using that folder look very closely. Okay, so I'm gonna show you for that. And then the third product is a level two, which means you get it free with a $100 purchase. The other two are free with a 50, but this one is a bundle and it's paper and stamp set. And the paper is so cute. It's like hand painted. I'm sure one of the concept artists hand painted it. Um, and it's just a little like, um, well, I wouldn't say woodsy. I would say, oh, I don't even know. Botanical, different types of botanical papers. And then the stamp set matches some of the things in the paper, like the succulent and the pine cone and the flower. Okay, so these will probably be make and takes next Friday. Can't look at them too long because it's going to be a surprise. So stay tuned for that next Friday. Um, I will show you everything next Friday. Aw, Karen, thank you. Not really gussied up. No, I went to the grocery store. <laughs> Had to at least look decent. Um, okay, so I see all of you. Yes, Kathy says they need to carry that paper over. It's amazing. And that is true. And you know what? You really can't tell how gorgeous it is. It's one of those that you need to see in person. So I'll show you close up next week the prints. Um, on both the sides. All right, I wanna remind you that the 13th, which is what, Wednesday? Last call for this class, okay? Um, sweetest thing, February 13th is a deadline, and I thought I would show you just a couple, maybe my favorite projects is this one. Look at this giant sweet tart, or Smarties. 
made a box for it because it needs a box of its own. And then this one right here, I love. There's some jelly beans in there. You had to have jelly beans with this, right? So the deadline is February 13th. I have four pricing options for that with the bundle, without the bundle. PDF only and then for my team. So if today when you go over to my blog, you'll see there's a, a link right at, every, at the end of every post um, that'll take you right over there with all the details. But don't forget the 13th, let me look at the calendar. That is Wednesday. So when after Wednesday, that's it, okay? Wow, all of you are sharing the video. Thank you, I haven't even said please share the video, but you guys are doing it. I have you trained well. Um, also, I want to remind you of Paper Pumpkin. The deadline to get February's Paper Pumpkin is the 10th, which would be, what day is that? Um, Sunday. And this one's going to have something to do with succulents. I don't know. I posted the video. I hope you guys saw it. It's really cute. Um, they're kind of pulling fun things out of the box. So if you want this month's Paper Pumpkin, do it by the 10th. You have to subscribe by the 10th. And you can also get a prepaid subscription, which means you buy three months or six months um, or 12 months all in one lump sum. And when you do that, you also get celebration items, right? That's awesome. So if you do that, they email you a code that you go over and subscribe with that code. So you, even if you're doing a prepaid subscription, you have to go and enter that code by the 10th or they're not gonna send it to you. They're not gonna know that you want it to start. So be looking for that. Um, this morning, I did. <laughs> I have two blog hops that kind of went live within about 12 hours of each other. Yesterday, I had a blog hop with my team. I hope you checked it out. Um, we're working on getting a blog hop going, and um, it's starting to get bigger. I'm very excited, and I would love for you guys to hop around and visit some of my downline. Um, this month, we're doing celebration items. And then this morning, I had another um, blog hop that is the tutorial bundle this thing that I do every month with these amazing demonstrators. Um, we all come up with a tutorial, um, some kind of project, and let's see if I can find mine. And then we type it up and we share it. And we put it in this bundle. It's got 12 projects, see like this, step by step. And, um, and they're really amazing. And so February is the first month of this round of tutorials and it goes for six months and if you want to subscribe here's my project right there if you want to subscribe you can only do it in february and when you subscribe you pay for five months and you get the six month for free there are several ways to get this giant pdf the first is if you spend fifty dollars if you do put in a stampin up order fifty of uh, fifty dollars or more i'm going to send it to you for free the second way is if you're on my team you get it for free the third way is if you buy it um, subscribe you can subscribe or buy it each month whichever you want but February is the only time you can subscribe okay um, so check it out there's some really awesome tutorials here's my project it's very cute it opens I'm not supposed to show it to you see okay that's all it's a sneak peek <laughs> I can't stand not showing you okay it looks like I'm getting down to the bottom of my pile so today's Facebook Friday which means I do three projects and I did one on Tuesday over on my business page. I hope you guys saw that. Um, but today I have a PDF that goes with all three projects. It has um, the photos and the products that I use and the measurements down at the bottom. So right now at pinkbuckaroo.com, you can go over there and get that PDF. Scroll down under the very last photo and it's a link right there. Um, and it has everything you need. It also has all these things I'm talking about, the tutorial bundle, my two classes, um, the join special the celebration starter kit special, which is amazing. Um, the starter kit special, you guys, you get $175 of product for either $99 free shipping or $129 free shipping. And then you get that free awesome bag over there. Okay. So make sure that you check it out if you've got a big wish list. Okay. The details are here. You can click right there and it'll take you over to that page. Um, also what I do for Facebook Friday is that anybody who orders between now and Monday at midnight gets today's make and takes for free. I mail them out on Wednesdays. I, I close it and cut and pack and ship or pack it all on Tuesday and ship it on Wednesday, okay? Um, so it'll come to you like this, like here's last week's, and you can kind of get a sneak peek. I was trying to get it to the little tag that I made to go down in there, the framelits. I got the framelits that are coming out in March to go with that frog set 
And there's the lily pad, it's so cute. Um, Karen says, how much is a tutorial bundle for, for six months? Well, they're $15 each month. And when you buy five months, you get one free. So it's $75 for six months. Or you can do it where we bill you once a month, $15. Good question, I didn't mention that. Okay, so Megan takes for free. If you put in that order, you gotta use the host code. If, you're, if your order is under um, $150, the host code is right here. Okay, it's also gonna be down here when I flip the camera. Um, and let me see. Oh yeah, okay, Alessandra is saying, yes, we had a glitch yesterday with the links on our team blog hop. They're all fixed now. Thank you, Alessandra. I did not see that comment. Yeah, it was a little messed up. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys that I laid down to take a nap yesterday afternoon. It was really sleepy and I was gonna take like a 20 minute nap, you know, like a refuel. And I was laying there and I remembered that our blog hop went live and I got my phone and I looked and I realized that the links weren't working. So <laughs> I popped right back up and came and fixed them and didn't get my nap. So the links, my links on my blog are fixed. Everybody fixed their links, so we're good. Okay, winners, guys, I have two ways to win. You can share this video on Facebook. That enters you in for a prize. You can also hop over to my blog, scroll down to the bottom, and there's a little form that you can fill out. So I choose two winners every week, one from each place. And last week's winners are getting Itty Bitty Birthday and the Meant to Be uh, Ribbon. And the first winner is Christine Shannon. Christine, I have your mailing address. And the second is Marianne McGinnis. And Marianne, I think I have yours too. Um, but if you guys see this this weekend, just shoot me an email with your uh, mailing address. That'll speed it up so that I don't have to search for it. And then Mary O'Connell shared my video on Tuesday. So Mary, you are getting the Here Comes the Sun Hostess set from the Occasions Catalog. And Mary, I don't think I have your mailing address. So please email me. You have two weeks to claim your prize. Congratulations, ladies. This week's prizes are nine lives the kitty and some heart stickers because you know you need some hearts to go with your cute kitty i've got two of them one to give away oh there's christine congratulations christine um one to give away for sharing the video and one to give away as a random drawing over on my blog you have two ways to win okay all right i'm gonna flip you guys around um Looks like my internet's doing okay. It's hanging in there. You guys aren't seeing any like terrible, weird glitches, are you? No freezing up or anything crazy. All right, keep your eyes closed for just a second. It's gonna take me a minute. Um, today we're gonna make three projects using the Beauty of Bounds bundle. And this one is just really amazing. Um, it's got a lot of elements that go to it. And just a lot of things that you can do. And I'm going to show you some projects, how to make several projects, which are under now all of my stuff over here, that have huge wow factor, but that I think are pretty doable. On Tuesday, here's what we did. We did this. You can go back and find that on my blog. You can find the replay. And you know what? I think I might not have uploaded the video. I'll have to go see. I know it's on um, YouTube. Um, and of course, it's on Facebook, but I need to double check on that. So we made that on Tuesday. And then here's my stamp club to go. Our scrapbook page and our card this month features these. So I have cut out, um, I said on my video this morning, probably 50, but I'm thinking it's closer now because I'm thinking I did all the stamp club ones, at least 100 of these. Um, and so <laughs> they cut really well. Believe me, I would not have done that for my stamp club to go if they didn't cut well, because that would have been oh, a ton of work. <laughs> Who said that? The only freezing is outside. You guys, you know what? This morning when I went to the grocery store, Karen says that. Um, good. I'm glad that the only freezing is outside. This morning, I ran to the grocery store, and um, it started like, well, I don't want to call it snow, but to South Texans, it was snow. It was like sleet. And it's actually, the, the official name we call it down here is Graupel. It's like little tiny snowballs, um, like what comes out of a beanbag chair. So everybody was kind of like <laughs> paralyzed for a few minutes because, you know, it was like snow. We were so excited. My daughter texted me from school. And of course, it's melting as soon as it touches the car and everything. But we were very excited. So it's cold here, too. <laughs> Not as cold as you guys up north. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do today. Make sure that you grab your PDF. You can save it or print it. It's gonna have all the stuff I'm using as well as measurements. There's gonna be quite a few measurements that you're gonna need today, okay? All right, um, so we're gonna start with this one. Let me move these guys out of the way and we will get started. Now on 
Tuesday, I showed you how to put together these framelits. You get, this is all that comes in the, the Beauty Abounds, or it's called the Beautiful Butterfly Framelit Collection. And there's 20 framelits, there's a bunch. And these two are big, and they're all welded together. Um, so when you cut them out, they're already all together like that. And you can see this one is more solid, more fatter, <laughs> if you will. And then this one is more delicate and skinny. So you can see how they fit together like that. And the skinny one goes on top of the fat one. This is more open right here, so you can see all of that. Um, but what we're gonna do today, we're not gonna cut out the whole thing like we did on Tuesday. We're just gonna cut out um, certain butterflies that we need. So for this card, we need this butterfly right here. And you know, if you wanted to go ahead and cut out all of it, you could use all four of these butterflies here if you were making a bunch of these cards. All right. Okay, so we're gonna start, uh-oh. We're gonna start with the butterfly. And we're gonna use um, multi-purpose adhesive sheet. My goodness, I just drew a total blank. Multi-purpose adhesive sheet, it comes six by 12, I believe, and I just keep cutting pieces out of it and saving it um, so I can use it again and again. And so what we're gonna do is take our Blackberry Bliss um, cardstock, and we're gonna put it down here. See how I peeled up the side right here? And I'm gonna lay that down in another piece of Blackberry Bliss that we're gonna cut those words out of. The words are from the well-written bundle or well said bundle. One of them, the stamp set is called well said and the framelits are called well written. Okay, so see how I put that paper back down? Okay, I stuck it down and putting that top piece back on and I'm gonna cut this out like this. Okay, and then this piece just comes right off. And it's like a sticker, you've made a sticker and you can save this for another project. <laughs> it's getting small but I'm sure I can use it. Um, so then it's going to make that top layer stick much better to that bottom layer. Now the framelits I was just talking about are these well said framelits. You get lots of words and we're going to do the you and the thanks. Now it doesn't sound like it's going to make sense. Thanks you, but look, we have the words in the stamp set to coordinate. You could just sit and brainstorm tons of phrases to put all these words together with all of these words. Um, I cheated and just copied what they had in the catalog. <laughs> Sending thanks to you. But given the time, I know that we could come up with tons of sayings. All right, so let's bring the big shot over. Negative 10 wind chill. No, mm -mm, that's unexcusable. You need to move to the south during the winter. But see here in the summer, then we have like 110 heat index and it's miserable and hot and humid and disgusting. So then that means I need to come north in the summer. I know, we can't win, right? We can't win. Okay, so I'm gonna put the thanks and the you over here. And I've just made sure that this butterfly is right there in there and this framelit is a little more intricate so that means it has more cutting surfaces more edges that need to cut so i'm going to go back and forth and back and forth two or three times to make sure and because i've made it a little bit thicker with that adhesive on the back okay but it looks like it cut pretty good let's pull that one out and then our words and by the way, you guys, I have made clean recordings of all three projects today. They are already up on YouTube, just need to be made public. And you guys, if you wanna remake these projects, you can go over and find those clean recordings and you won't have to, you know, fast forward through an hour's worth of uh, my chit chat. All right, so you can see that some of these little guys stay in. When I have that adhesive sheet, sometimes it, it it's harder to get those out, but what I have found is that if you take that backing off, it's, well, there, and then just stick it to your finger like that, they'll stick to your finger and come right out. All right, so what I should have done before I did that was to trim this part off. This is the part that's connected to the other butterflies right here, okay? All right, so I'm gonna set that. It's just that backing came right off. And let's do the U. All right, put that there. Hopefully we won't lose it. And the thanks is peeling right off too. So let's get that. 
The only downside is that then you find all these little sticky bits sticking to you. Why was this one not coming out? And it's weird because it's a different color. I think I left a black speck in there. Okay, there we go. Okay, yeah, so you'll go to the grocery store and you'll look down and you'll have little specks stuck to your pants and stuck to your shirt. We didn't cut this one out. This is the solid one. And this one does not have the adhesive back on it. We don't need it on this one. Oh my goodness. Here it is. Here we go. I'm not focusing. I'm thinking about the snow. The, I should use quotation marks, snow. <laughs> My oldest two are actually going into the hill country this weekend for a church retreat. And I just saw that they're having a winter weather advisory in the hill country. So wouldn't that be amazing if they got to see some snow? You know, you have to understand that when you live in the South, you don't get to see snow very often. Not even, I mean, here it doesn't even snow every three or four years. It, I mean, we're lucky if we get a dusting. All right, so here's the more solid one, the background one. I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut off that piece. I'm also going to cut off these little antenna. Um, like I said on Tuesday, it's hard to line up those antenna, so I just cut the back ones off. All right, so now let's take our little guy and stick him right on. If you don't have multi-purpose adhesive sheets, I'd encourage you to add them to your next order. They, re they really are amazing. I use them a lot when I can remember. The problem is you gotta remember to put them on before you cut, and sometimes I don't do that. But if you can remember, they are amazing. All right, now let's do some Wink of Stella around the edges. Just like I said, on Tuesday also. We want this to look kind of realistic and have that iridescent glittery feel. So just a little wink of Stella. Oh, he's so pretty. All right, now let's make our rectangle. I have cut out a rectangle using the stitched rectangle framelits, which are quickly becoming my favorite go-to. and. I feel very discombobulated. I don't know, everything seems disorganized and it's not. I think I'm just really thinking about that snow, you guys. <laughs> All right, so rectangle framelits. I am also going to use, like I said, the words from Well Said, and we're gonna make those thanks and you make more sense. So let's take the thanks and put it right there. Make sure it's straight. The, the multi-purpose adhesive is good because it does give you a little bit of wiggle room. It will peel back up if you, my goodness, I've got these little guys stuck everywhere. Um, if you, <laughs> come on, um, if you need to like move it around, but then after it sticks there for a while, then it's, you know, it's stuck. It's not like it's gonna come up, but it's not, it's also not like fast fuse where you stick it and you're good, you can't ever get it up. All right, so thanks, and you. And then I'm gonna take the two, Let, now let's do the sending first. Now, to get this straight, let's see if I can do it on the video. To get this straight, you guys, practice. Practice on your grid paper. Hmm, well, it's gonna do. Practice on your grid paper, that way you can kind of see, because sometimes your stickers aren't totally straight. And if you practice on your grid paper first, then you'll see like, okay, I need to turn it just a little bit to the right, a little bit to the left. This is a texture stamp that's also in that set. I like texture stamps. Now here, we're gonna take the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls, and I'm gonna use that tacky end on my Take Your Pick tool and add a few of these Artisan Pearls. I think it's kind of funny that I've used <laughs> whatever these two colors were and then all the pink. I was looking at that earlier thinking, what do I have against green and yellow? I gotta come up with some projects that need the green and yellow pearls. Okay, let's put our card together. I am using a Coastal Cabana card base. Gotta love Coastal Cabana. And we're gonna stamp that texture a little bit up here on the top and a little bit on the bottom because that's all that's gonna be seen. 
because we're gonna take this beautiful Tea Together designer series paper from the annual catalog. Don't you think that's just screaming for a butterfly to land on it? I don't, that's what I thought. And this um, size is, I have it on here, three by four and a fourth. And then these other ones, I probably cut them a little bit bigger than they need to be. But you can see it's the opposite side of this pattern. And I'm just gonna put kind of a border, one on top and one on bottom. That way I don't have to waste paper, you know, instead of cutting a three by four piece and then a, th you know, four by four and a fourth piece, I can just cut those strips and it looks like it's got a backing when it really doesn't. We've saved some paper. Mm, which way does that flower go? I think it goes like that. So let's put that down there and get our fun little rectangle. And, whoa, look at my dimensionals. I'm down to the bottom. I know I've got another sheet over there. Hello, hello, everybody who's joining me. Kansas has lightning, thunder, ice pelts, and snow all together. Joy, that's insane. You need to come down to South Texas. You don't need that kind of punishment. <laughs> I know, I know you guys get tired of it. We, our spring arrives like late February. The trees will start budding and all the weeds start growing and it gets muggy in March. So I feel for you guys. All right, I'm gonna put this butterfly right there on the edge of that. And then I'm gonna take some Nature's Twine. This is in the annual catalog. It comes in a pack of four, four different colors. This one is the Blackberry Bliss. I love this twine. And I have used all four colors equally. I um, have used them for all different projects and I don't, I, I seem to, you know, I was worried that I would have more than, more of one left, but no, I have used all of them. Right there along the crease of that card, see how I did that? But then I decided, let's use a couple more of these stamps, okay? And let's stamp, if you wanna put a white liner, you could put a white liner in there, but I'm just going to stamp a couple of butterflies in Coastal Cabana like that. And then you can write your message on it. All right, so there we go, our first card. Pretty easy, but I think it's pretty fancy, don't you guys? That butterfly like that with that wink of Stella. I love it, I love it, love it. Ah, uh, thanks guys, I'm glad you like it too. All right, project one, let's move on to project two. Boy, these butterflies make a mess. That is a, one thing I will say all this cutting. I have done some of the cutting ahead for the next project, so, because I knew there was no way I was gonna get all that done in an hour. I, my little one, I have to pick her up at school about 3.05, and sometimes she rides her bike, but she's kind of a wimp. Look, I have all three of them made. She's kind of a wimp, and you know, it's cold. Well, and it is like snowing. He's gotta use the air quotes snowing. <laughs> okay, I'm sure their teachers are going crazy today. I'm sure the kids like lost their minds. All right, so let's see. Can I put these over here? Here's the stamp set. This next project actually doesn't use any stamping. It's just the die cuts. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Um, you know, I, I really had a hard time deciding what colors I wanted to use. Um, I started with pinks, but then I thought, no, I don't want it to be Valentine's-ish. I just want it to be kind of springish. So I went with oranges. Um, but I think you guys, you could do this in blues, greens, purples, yellows, reds, whatever, and you, it's gonna be beautiful. And the thing is that this paper, this is the beautiful butterfly, no, botanical butterfly designer series paper from the Celebration catalog. You get it free. Um, it would match no matter what colors you did, right? Because it's black and white. But I also decided I really wanted to use that awesome foil paper, Grapefruit Grove foil paper. And they told us, I don't know, it's probably been about two weeks ago that it was almost gone. The supply was almost de depleted and it, I just checked and it's still available. So if you haven't gotten that, make sure you get it, okay? Okay, so what I did is I used this large butterfly. The dogs only wanna have a wrestling match when I'm doing a video. They did this morning too. I'm using this one right here. Okay, let me shut the door 
guys, go outside. If it's not one thing, it's the other with those guys. Okay, so I'm gonna use this big one right here and the skinny one right here. And you only need a piece of paper that is three by four to get that whole thing on there, okay? So let me tell you the colors that I did. Cajun Craze, um, Calypso Coral, Pumpkin Pie, uh, Mango Melody, Grapefruit Grove. Then I switched over to the skinny one. Don't come in here, Charlie, and start wrestling. Um, here's the skinny one, and I did that in vellum, and we're going to do it also in the Grapefruit Growth foil paper. Look at that foil paper. You know, they um, they call it Grapefruit Growth, but really it's like a rainbow. I mean, it's very, um, you know, that spectrum. It shows the spectrum of colors much more than the other color that's in that pack, which is um, Lovely Lipstick. It doesn't do that, so I don't know why. The Grapefruit Grove is more rainbow-ish, but it is stunning. So just a three by four piece so that you're not wasting your paper. I know you guys are gonna wanna hoard your paper. I get it. All right, so I'm gonna go through a couple of times and back. Of course, since you're putting the whole thing in there, you could go ahead and just cut a big piece and use those butterflies on something else, right? All right, so here we go. It came out really easily. Let's see, hopefully I don't take off that antenna. Okay, let's move that back over here and get our, our little dye brush. If you don't have the dye brush, you need to get it. I'm telling you, $11, it comes with two of the pads and the brush. I think they send two pads because people with cats say that their cats like to chew up their their uh, dye brush um, mats. I don't have a cat, but I do have a rabbit, but the rabbit hasn't gotten hold of it. Um, but one of mine did rip. I uh, had it stuck under something and I, I, it was my fault though. So I think they send you two just in case. All right, look, I just trimmed off those little extra bits. Beautiful. Okay, let's stack it up. Now, one thing I did, I, if you put a dimensional between each one, it's gonna be too much. It's gonna be too tall. It's gonna be, you know, kind of ridiculous. So what I did is I put glue dots, and then on the next one, I put a mini dimensional, and then I went back to glue dots and then a mini dimensional. You see what I'm saying? Like I kind of went back and forth so that it's not going to be, you know, like six inches tall. <laughs> Although that might be kind of cool. Wouldn't this be fun for like a kid's present or, um, wait, let's see, what did I just do? I did glue dots, right? Yep, so now I'm gonna do a dimensional. Um, what I really think that this little treat box would be beautiful at, like a spring bridal shower or, I feel like I'm missing one. No, I just went out of order. Oh well. Um, a spring bridal shower or like a Mother's Day tea or something. Wouldn't these just be pretty as the little like treat that sits at everybody's table? And I know you guys are gonna ask, what's inside of it? Well, I don't know. It's January when I made this box and there's not a lot of spring stuff out, you guys. So I don't have anything in there, but I would venture to say homemade goodies. You know, some cookies, something just maybe um, from the bakery, something kind of fancy. Now you wanna take these once you get them all stacked up and just kind of fold them up like this and get their wings all kind of separated like that. Isn't that fun? I just, and you know what I was thinking today, maybe even rainbow colored, rainbow order would be really, really pretty. Okay, let's make the box that that goes on. Um, I do know that Bath and Body Works um, has some butterfly stuff. I looked on their website, but I haven't been in, so I don't know exactly what you could put in there. But I'm sure, knowing Bath and Body Works, they'll have something that fits. Okay, so you're gonna need, your box bottom is nine by eight. This is Grapefruit Grove, and we're going to score it. Oh, wrong end, boy, I pushed too hard. Two and a half, turn, two and a half, turn, two and a half. See what I'm doing? Two and a half on each side, okay? Then you're gonna get your designer series paper. And this is, again, the Butterfly Botanicals paper. And we're going to score it on one inch 
on every side. It measures five by six. But we, we're gonna use a shim, and a shim's gonna create a tiny bit, about that much difference in width of our from our lid to our bottom, and that's gonna help that bottom slide right into that, that lid, okay? So I'm gonna put it over here, and this only works when you are scoring one side and turning, one side and turning, one side and turning. If you were just scoring that, that, that like that, and then that, that, like that, it wouldn't work. You have to score equally on all four sides, if that makes sense. Um, okay, so five post-it notes, put it over here. And this time, I'm not gonna push very hard because it's <laughs> designer series paper. Um, and I'm gonna score, what did I say? Um, one inch, and then turn, one inch. Yes, Carla, big fuzzy butterfly socks. Absolutely, I think those would fit in there. My girls love fuzzy socks. They are crazy about the socks. That would be a good one, yes, great idea. Okay, things are falling. All right, let's see, do I have the bone folder? I do, let's, let's crease all of these lines with our bone folder. Now you see this other side of the designer series paper. It would, be, it would be just fine as the lid as well. It's got those orangey colors in there, but I'm really into black and white, so that's why I decided to do the black and white. All right, now take your scissors and cut off each corner from the score line here to that score line there, okay? Then, on the short sides, cut the score line up stopping right there at that horizontal score line, like that. All right, now get your adhesive and only use a really strong adhesive. Do not use snail, you guys, you would be sorry. Use tear and tape or fast fuse, and if you like liquid Tombow, use that. I put adhesive on each of those corners, and now I'm just gonna fold them behind the opposite side, like that. Okay, hello everybody that's joining. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you. All right, so there's our lid. Now we're gonna make the box bottom exactly the same way. Hopefully I didn't tear it when I scored it. Good grief. A little, a little heavy handed today. Let's see, yeah, a little bit. Mm, I'd have to redo that if we weren't making a video. All right, again, we're gonna cut off those four corners. These would be pretty too if you needed to make like seven or eight of them and made one in pinks, one in reds, one in oranges, you know, like the rainbow color and had them all sitting there together. That would be pretty. That would be fun for March, you know, around St. Patrick's Day. There we go. All right. Um, today, I, on the way to the grocery store, there's a little bakery here in town that's relatively new, and it's like a healthy bakery. It's all macro, you know, the macronutrients, keto friendly. And so I went in there and stopped and got a few things. Um, and I was thinking, ooh, what, a, what in here would fit in this box? Because, you know, you don't have to make homemade stuff if you don't have time. Go to a bakery and just get something nice. Look, and it's going to fit on there just like that. All right, so you guys see how that was made? Very easy, and it would be easy to mass produce. Um, let's see, we're gonna use many dimensionals. Thanks, Wendy. I am, um, those corners, you know, after, I don't know, 10 years of box making, you kind of figure things out. And you know what my problem is, and I don't know why, but my score lines are never, oops, wait, I forgot to put something on here. My score lines are never exactly where they're supposed to be. They're like hair off or a tiny bit over here. I don't know why. And I realized that if I would cut those corners, even if my card stock was a tiny bit taller on one side, those corners, if you cut them off, you're not gonna see that. So there's a piece of that same DSP, one by whatever the length of the box is. Now I can't remember. I'm sure I have it written down, four inches. Um, and I just put that in the middle and we're gonna stick this stack on here with many dimensionals. Um, and the last thing, of course, is a bow. And I 
couldn't decide if we needed a big ribbon bow or just a twine bow. So I went with a twine because I didn't want to take away from our butterfly. Now I'm going to take this twine and fold it in half. Okay, this is what, how you make a double bow, you guys. Fold it in half and tie a bow, just like it, it's one piece. See how I just held the pieces together to make two piece, or to make um, a double bow? You're tying them at the same time. They're just together. All right, a glue dot and our double bow, and we can put it right there. There we go. Let's see them together, let's see. You can see the difference because I put over here, I have Grapefruit Grove on top and over here I have Mango Melody on top. Let's see, wouldn't that be pretty on a table? And they would think that you're so fancy when really it's not terribly hard. Oh my goodness, thanks for the likes you guys. Thank you so much. I never know, I'm always worried. Are they gonna like it? Will they like the projects? There's a lot of pressure that goes into Facebook Friday. I never wanna disappoint. All right, one more project, you guys. And I have a confession on this project. I'm gonna to have to tell you. I made a mistake. Hold on, let me get a drink. Of my sparkling water. Thank you very much, it's not a Diet Coke. I'm doing really good. Really, really good. Still want a Diet Coke all day long, but I'm fighting it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's see, where's this card? So here's this card. It's so awesome and beautiful and I love it. And when I was getting the prod products out, getting my tray ready, see this is how I have each project on a tray like this, everything's ready, and I type up the PDF, I couldn't find the gold shimmer paint. And I kept typing it in on the, the um, store it wasn't coming up. Well, that's because it retired in the holiday catalog. Oops, I thought it carried over. So. If you have the gold shimmer paint, you can use it. But if you don't have it, what we do have still is the champagne mist. And here's the card done with a champagne mist. And it's definitely more subtle, um, but you know, that's all we have. So that's what we're gonna use. Um, you could also, if you wanted that bold color, you could use your reinker um, and just flick ink on there. Okay, so oops, sorry guys. I don't like to do projects with products that you can't get. I only want to, you know, show you, you know, things that you can, that you do have access to, because that can be really frustrating. So I really try to make sure everything is current. Okay, I don't know why I'm unloading this right here. Why don't I just move it over? <laughs> okay. All right, this is kind of a messy project, but that's okay. It's fun. All right, I'm gonna bring over this fancy grid paper. Look at this fancy, fancy grid paper. It's Stampin' Up's 30th anniversary logo grid paper. I hate to mess it up. Okay, let's see, where am I? Right here, this is a four by five and a fourth piece of Whisper White, and I'm gonna take my shimmer. Um, you know what, Wendy, that is an excellent suggestion. You can take your reinker like yellow, whoa, that's way too much. Like your yellow or probably um, the mango would be really good. I knew what you meant, Wendy. Um, Reinker is always autocorrected, always. Every time I try to type it, it's autocorrected. I knew exactly what you're talking about. But you could put some um, in with the champagne or the frost white, you could add some color to it and then kind of get the same effect, that mango. That's a great suggestion. All right, so I put it, I put it on my clear block, I've squeezed a little bit of water and now I'm just going to flick. All right, just flick it. And as much or as little as you'd like. And I wish I hadn't put so much of my block because that was way too much. All right, and then, now I have an aqua painter, you guys, that I have um, designated the shimmer paint aqua painter. You can see. All right, so you might want to do that. I mean, it probably would go clean if I took it to the, to the sink, but I'm a lazy stamper, I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Now let's watercolor. And I have cut these guys out already. I cut them out of um, watercolor paper. So if you're going to do watercolor paper, you're going to need to give yourself um, some extra rolls through that big shot because it is thicker. But in, with that being said, it cuts beautifully. Whoa, so do my scissors apparently. <laughs> Okay, so we've got Daffodil Delight, 
Mango Melody, Pumpkin Pie, and, oops, turn that upside down, Blackberry Bliss. Do you see what I'm doing? Just pushing on the bottom, putting ink there on the inside. If you don't like that, take your clear black and dip it in your ink and that'll be a palette for you, okay? Okay, now I've switched re-inkers, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> aqua painters and okay let's put the skinny one to the side and we're gonna work with a fat one first the back one um, I'm gonna get it all wet okay and then I'm gonna come over here and get some daffodil delight and I'm gonna start from the inside and go to the outside now I'm not squeezing my aqua painter it's wet enough I am just picking up that ink and adding it okay now the mango and I'm gonna start and you can see because I have water there on my on my wings it kind of spreads out kind of takes you know takes on a life of its own then I'm gonna grab some pumpkin pie and go on the outside edges okay now watercolor is going to be more vibrant the more layers you put on it the more times you go and and add layers to it, but you've got to let it dry in between. Um, and that's really fun to do. Color it, set it aside, come back. Color it, set aside, come back. Um, I love to do that. But because we're on a live today, we're not gonna be able to do that too much. I've missed some yellows over here. So let's see, let me make sure I got all that. And let's set this one over here somewhere. Let's get the skinny one. Now we're gonna do pretty much the same thing, except we're gonna end with that Blackberry Bliss. And the way I came up with this color combination is I went to Pinterest and I typed in butterfly. And boy, did I find some beautiful butterfly images. Um, and I just found one that I really liked the colors. And that's what I went with because in my mind, I just kept thinking monarch, 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 monarch and I wanted it to be a little bit different. Um, so I um, challenge you guys to go to either Google or Pinterest and search butterflies and find a different butterfly and get your inks out and just start coloring your butterflies, um, different colors, because there are some amazing, amazing butterflies. All right, so now I'm gonna take this Blackberry Bliss and go along the edge like that and like that it's so dark and vibrant it's beautiful but it's going to dry kind of lighter so we're going to give it a second and i'm actually going to get my heat tool out and just hit it with a heat tool for just a minute well not even a minute maybe 30 seconds and i'll see what you guys are saying Maggie, you're having trouble? Is the video going in and out? Would the champagne mist work? Or the champagne mist Alessandra is light. It's gonna work, but it's gonna be even lighter than, um, well actually this is the champagne mist. This is the champagne mist, um, but the frost white would be lighter. Are you talking about, you're probably talking about adding the ink into the champagne mist? Yeah, I think so. You know, it, I don't know if you can see this right here. It's gray. So it might not turn out to be the color that you like, you know? So just play around with it. Let's see. Only two carried over. Sarah, I, yes, I know. And I thought in my mind that it was gold and white that carried over. I was wrong. Thank you, Lois. I know diet soda is bad, but it's so good. <laughs> I love diet gold. But... I'm trying to lose some weight that's the deal and I haven't been able to lose weight and I'm pretty sure it's because of the diet sodas so you know I'm going to Greece this summer um, with a stampin up trip so I don't want to you know I don't want to not like the way I look you know because that kind of just ruins ruins things I don't know for me anyway if I feel bad about myself it's hard for me to to enjoy and then I don't want to take pictures and that's not a fun way to live so I'm trying to lose, not, not a lot, you know, maybe 10, 15. Um, but then also we're taking the kids on a very special trip in August. Well, I say it's very special. Um, we're going to the Caribbean. We're going back to where um, we, um, my husband and I went to St. Thomas for our honeymoon and it's our 20th wedding anniversary um, this summer. So we thought, 
let's do that. Let's do a big family trip and we're gonna do a cruise um, to, but St. Thomas is one of the places. And the kids are very, very excited because we're not taking them to Greece. <laughs> And they're very mad at us. Well, the teenager is. The other two could care less. But um, they loved that trip that we went on this last summer, the Stampin' Up! trip. And they made lots of Stampin' Up! friends, you know. And they're very ticked that they can't go to Greece. But I just, you know, for one, I don't think the younger two. You guys see what I'm doing? I'm just adding these colors right back on top, making them more vivid. The younger two would not enjoy Greece, um, especially the youngest. She would want to just play video games in the arcade the whole time. And that's, I don't want to fight that when I go to Greece. So they're staying home. Um, but they're kind of ticked. Now that they know what a Stampin' Up! incentive trip is, they're like, uh, excuse us, um, you can't leave us at home. Next, not this coming summer, but the next summer, the trip is to Maui. And we, well, I, my husband has been, but I have never been to Hawaii. Um, so I'm thrilled and I have a feeling they're going to finagle their way onto that trip. You know, guys, those of you that are parents, you know, a trip without your kids is a much different trip than a trip with your kids. I love them, but I love my husband too. <laughs> I like to go places with him. I don't know. Is that selfish? I don't know. My teenager is reaching that age where she's entitled, you know, she's like, but uh, how could you not take me? Sorry, teenager. You're a teenager. So, I don't know, but we're taking them somewhere else special and they can get over themselves. Okay, so we're watercolored. We are going to let that sit for just a little while. Typically, if I was making this not in a video, we would give that a good probably 30 minutes to fully dry. Now let's make the frame. I'm gonna use, I've got a mess here, let me clean this up. I'm using gold foil to go along with the gold that I thought I was gonna put on the back of the card. <laughs> uh, maybe we should change it to the champagne or silver or I don't know, what, whatever color is copper, what do we have? I don't know, we're sticking with gold. Now I'm using two rectangle framelits and I have the sizes on the PDF for you. Um, I am using the bigger one and I'm not using the one right next to it. It's I skipped a size and went to the next one because I wanted the frame to be kind of wide, you know, thick. All right, so if you put them together like that, then run them through, you create a frame. And you've also got this piece to save for another project. Okay, that's a pretty good piece. I have a little basket that sits on my desk with leftover die cuts. I don't know, do you guys do that? Because sometimes I cut too many of something or I have something like that left over. So I have a little basket over on my desk that I throw all these extras. Oh no, this is not dry yet. Um, I throw all those extras in like this. And then I can pull from it when I'm making stuff, you know, if you need, especially white circles and squares, I use those a lot. And if I um, have them just sitting there in the basket and I just look and find something, it's nice to not have to go cut something out. Just a tip, I don't know. I didn't do that for a long time, I just threw them away. Now I'm like, hello lady, keep your papers, save yourself some seconds. Okay. I think let's see if that's dry enough to get our frame on we're gonna use I don't, these dogs <laughs> are ridiculous they sleep all day and then as soon as they hear my voice they're like oh it's party time we want all the stampin up ladies to hear us <sighs> two schnauzers they're both nine they're getting up in age you would think they'd calm down no but i think they're getting more ornery the older they get Okay, so we've put that down with uh, many dimensionals. And this piece of DSP, I know I cut a little bit long. It's gonna be the same length as the inside right there. And it's three quarters of an inch wide. Oh, no, I have my punch. I'm gonna use the Taylor Tag Punch to cut that banner right there and right there. And we're gonna stick that down right there. Now, we're gonna do the nest of thread. That's what I call it. I'm gonna put some adhesive 
just right there. And then I'm gonna get this gold thread. I think I've told you guys this before. When I was an artisan, we had a discussion um, in our group about how you do this and everybody did it a different way. So there's no right or wrong way to make a nest of thread, a messy nest. Because with this super skinny thread, that's what it's gonna be. You're not gonna be able to do, well, maybe you could if you're really, if you're really good. But what I do is I just put some adhesive down and I stick it down like that. And then I just kind of arrange it and, you know, take that end piece and stick it up there in that adhesive. You can also kind of, you know, twist it and stick it onto the back of your die cut. There we go. See, there's our messy nest of thread. <laughs> I think that's the official term. Okay, so let's move that and let's glue this guy together. Um, oh, Wendy, you know, um, I've been doing this for a very long time and um, I'm not always quick and decisive, but, oops, that's a big dot. Let me get that dot off, that's too much. Um, the more you craft, you know, the more you do something, the, the better you become at it, the faster you become at it. And I do this, I mean, I probably stamp and craft and do all of this about 50 hours a week because it's my job, my full-time job. So, you know, you get quick and fast at things. But you know what? I've always just been kind of, when I was a teacher, that's how I was too. Just get it done, you know, fast, quick, do it. I don't know. I've just always kind of been that way. All right, so I use the fine tip glue pen, which you guys know, <laughs> we are frenemies. I love it and I despise it sometimes because I'm not very, probably because I'm moving so quickly all the time. I don't move very slow and so that's probably what I need to do when I am using the, oh, I don't like getting glue on my table, getting, um, this fine tip glue. Now I'm gonna cut off these back antenna so that we don't have to worry about them. Now one thing I have discovered, where did my Wink of Stella go? Did I take it over here? That the Wink of Stella will cover up any glue smears that you have. <laughs> so just take your Wink of Stella and go all over it and no one will ever know that you smeared your fine tip glue pen. Speaking from experience. All right. <laughs> so pretty. I love this set. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. I've got five minutes. Five minutes. All right. I'm going to do a mini dimensional. I'm actually going to do two mini dimensionals. Let's see. Right there. And actually, you know what I did do? I did put dimensionals on these wings too. Now that I'm remembering what I did, like that and stick that down, make sure it's centered in the frame. Very nice. All right, the sentiment we're using is from the Beauty Abound stamp set called Thanks. <laughs> it's complicated, just kidding. All right, right there on the edge. And if you have your paper trimmer, use your paper trimmer. I'm just gonna quickly cut it like that. And then I'm gonna stick it in, let's see if it'll go in over here on the tailored tag punch. Oops, I want it smaller than that. I may have to cut this one. Let's see if it'll stick in. Yeah, there we go. All right, there we have it. Another mini dimensional, a baby dimensional right there. But wait, there's more. Where's my take your pick tool? We're gonna get that little putty on the end. And of course we need some glue, I mean some uh, gold pearls because you know of all the gold <laughs> oh I'm gonna have to petition Stampin' Up to bring our gold shimmer paint back there we go mm, I think I might need one more let's see oh, somebody's gonna have to stop me no 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 I don't like that no you're too oh man okay well he's gonna have to stay there because I took his adhesive off Oh, see, now I'm gonna have to make it even. All right, walk away, stop. No more, Erica, no more. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna put it on a Blackberry Bliss card base and done. And you guys, you know, I am not great about doing the insides of my cards. 
I don't ever think about it, but on a card like this that's dark, just cut another piece of Whisper White and stick it on the inside so that you can write your message. I know um, sometimes we get fancy on the inside and I love that. I just don't think about it all the time. But there it is. See you guys, it's pretty even without the gold glimmer. It's less busy, that's for sure. I don't know, I like it still. Okay, you guys, let's review. You know, it's got the teacher in me, we have to review. Now remember, I have three of everything because I did um, the clean versions of these videos earlier today. So on YouTube, hopefully by this evening, I'll have them all uploaded and you can go over and find them on my Pink Buckaroo uh, YouTube channel. Now, if you want to put in your order by Monday at midnight, use this host code and you'll get one, two, three make, a, uh, make and takes in the mail next week. Well, I mail them on Wednesday. They probably take about a week to, you know, how the postal service is. Um, but I will get them in the mail to you next week. Okay, you guys. And next week, remember, all new. All new celebration products. Well, I shouldn't say all new because they're all staying around, but we have three additional new ones and that's what I'll be using all next week. Okay, so make sure you join me on Tuesday over at Pink Buckaroo Designs and Friday here on Pink Buckaroo Stampers Group, both at two o'clock central. All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Stay warm wherever you are. And I wanna see some butterflies. I wanna see you guys making some butterflies in some other colors, okay? All right, you guys, have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye.